Hi, this is Marcy Turner, and today I'm going to show you how to sign up for a free Canva educator account, create classes, and how to search for educator premium templates. First, I'm going to show you how to create an educator account. This is important because it unlocks many of the premium features that Canva has to offer. So what you will need to do first is you're going to open the Canva for Education signup page. It should look just like this. You're going to use your Google account in order to sign in. For Ori County school users, you're going to use just your Gmail with the .g in there. So it'll take you to your creation homepage. From this page, you will need to go to the gear account settings at the very top. And you will go to the left to billing and plans. Now, mine already says Canva for education. In fact, that's how you know that you've already signed up for this free education program but you will actually be able to click get verified here and you'll go through the signup prompts and you should be able to gain access right away and start creating classes. Which leads me to the next thing that we're going to do. We are going to create classes so that you can organize each of your classes that you use through your learning management system, which for now should be Google Classroom. So you're gonna create a new class. For me, I have a first block class. So I'm gonna write first block create new class. Now, in order for your students to be able to sign up for that first block class, you will need to share a link. So it's going to take you straight to this. As you notice, it created a class on the side here. So I'm going to click invite members. I will need to get an invite link. And then from there, I'll just click the copied. And I can actually just share it right to Google Classroom if I wanted to do that. I prefer to put my stuff on the stream. It's just a personal personal preference, but you could create an announcement or whatever your preference is for how you share information on Google Classroom. So you'll want to do that for each of your classes. So you have to go through the sign up the process again. So again, just go to the gear setting on the top. You will go to billing and plans and then cr click create a new class and you can create another one. I also have a second block class. I will do that. Second block. And then notice again, it's creating these on the left-hand side. So all of them you can toggle right there. And again, in order to invite people, I'll just click invite members. I can create the code. I can copy and paste it how I want to, or I can just share it right to Google Classroom. I also use Remind as well, so that alternatively could be an option for you to use Remind just to share it on there. Whatever, however it is that you share information with your students. Okay, so that's the second part of this video. And then the third part is going to be how to look at the educator premium content, which would be templates. So from your creator homepage, you're going to click templates on the left. Now, I really love this because there's so much out there for teachers who are looking for plug and play, click and, click and go type of designs. So you're going to click on the left hand side, the education tab, and then that's going to drop down a bunch of different types of templates that they have for the education pro account only. So you can go to presentation and then there are examples. Oh my goodness, look at all this. I would never be able to create any of this. You could do your class syllabus, your you know first day information. I've seen a lot of teachers use the presentations for their daily agenda and objectives, which I love. And I also do that as well. So this just creates all, showcases all the different options for you. So that's one option for you to create a presentation. Alternatively, you could also have your students use this once you give them access to your classroom in order for them to have the same access to these beautiful presentations that are only for teachers and students. All right, so that's one option. Another option is videos. Now, I personally have never used an educational video, but you basically use the templates in order to put it into a moving video. If you look at this, I'll hover over and you could put yourself into a video that would play if you had like a hybrid situation in your classroom. That's one option. Another is the infographic. Now I'm new to infographics, but I've just discovered them and I love them. Um, the, the, for an English teacher like me, this right here is beautiful. I love this. It would be a, a 
probably a summative assessment for me. We finish a book in class and then my students go through, this is like types of characters. They could change these pictures. They could write their information right on the infographic. And then I would probably print and display these in my classroom. They're beautiful. A lot of these are English I'm seeing. I feel like it knows I'm an English teacher. Other ones I've seen are math fractions. Just, just a way for students to be able to showcase their learning. Education whiteboard. Now, one great thing about Canva that's kind of relatively a new feature is that Canva has live collaboration. So previously, in my experience, you could only have one person on a presentation or a piece at a time. And now you can have multiple students on a presentation at a time. So if I was to click on and I wanted to push out to my students, let me pick one here, a brainstorming template. Let me click customize. If I shared this link with editing rights to all of my students, they could all be on this one template, editing it at the same time. So that is something that is super exciting, I feel like, as a new feature to Canva. Okay, so more features are posters that you could create. And again, I'm all about things that are previously created that I could just kind of take and make my own. These classroom, classroom rules here, I love this one. Um, worksheets, this is something new that to me personally that I haven't used too, too much, but I love that the worksheets here are, you could just literally assign them straight to your classes. In fact, I think I'm gonna show you how to do that. So if you had a class that you wanted to work on or complete this worksheet, this one says addition and subtractions, you could click the three dots and customize this template. This is also gonna open it up into your own, like you've made a copy of it. You are going to click the share button and then you can make it an assignment right here. You click assignment. This is gonna be personal preference on where you want students to submit their work. I like to have students be consistent with submitting things through Google Classroom because when they press that turn in button, for me, that notifies me that I have to grade it. Without them pressing it, I don't grade it. So for me, I personally would like for them to submit their work through Google Classroom, but they're going to complete their work on Canva. And I want them to make a new design for each student. And then I would hit publish. And this will take you straight to your Google Classroom. And you can click whatever class you want to assign this to, create an assignment. And then you can just go ahead and, and it will make that new worksheet for them. Each of them will make a copy. So I love that feature. All right. And then there are more features here with flashcards. If you have students use flashcards in your room, I love the Canva flashcards. There is a storyboard. Another way for students just to showcase their learning, the creation of learning. All right, and comic strips, as you can see, some ideas there, group work. I know a lot of us, all teachers, we have our students work in groups. I love that Canva, has many different ideas already out there on how to get your students working in groups with pre-created templates. Almost looks like it's pre-created assignments that you can just make your own. It's a great place to start. Let's see, for your elementary teachers out there, I know a lot of you do classroom newsletters. My son's teacher does a classroom newsletter. Um, and so these look, I mean, these are next level classroom newsletters. I love these. And for, for these newsletters or for any template you see on here, you should be able to just click, I like this one, customize it and the boxes are already pre-created, the fonts are there for you. You know, welcome back to school. I can just click and change it to exactly what I want. That is basically all the features for Canva. It's how to create a Canva for Educator account. It's how to create classes and invite your students. And then it's all, I also showcased for you all the educator premium content. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos.